Subaru spark plugs are really easy to get to. Aha! Aha! <laughs> nice, gritty blow-off valve. I seem to never learn my lesson. Alright, time to start finishing up everything. What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am just putting in my spark plugs and really just kind of going through the motor making sure that everything on there is good. This video is probably going to be spread out over a couple of days because that's what I've been doing for the past few videos. Please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and uh, let's get on with the video. I'm going with the NGK Iridium One Step Colder Plugs. One thing I didn't know up until about a couple of days ago is if you do the One Step Colder Plugs, you want to make sure that you let your tuner know because you do have to get tuned for these. Subaru Spark Plugs are really easy to get to. I know a lot of other people say otherwise, but it's just a couple of things you got to get out of the way and it's not too, too difficult. Here on the passenger side, if I still had my air intake, all I have to do is just move that out the way and I have all the clearance I need for both spark plugs on this side. And then on the driver's side, all you got to do is take out the battery, move the windshield washer fluid, and you have all the access you need for the driver's side as well. I have a video where I replaced spark plugs before, probably from like a year or so ago. If you guys want to go check that out, I kind of go a little bit more in depth on how to do that. And make sure that before you put them in, that they are all properly gapped. Sometimes when you buy spark plugs, they're not properly gapped from factory, so just double check them with a gapping tool, and then you should be good to throw them in. Just try your best to be careful and not knock the top diode around while you're trying to get it into the threads because, uh... That wouldn't be good for anybody. I've put the coil packs on there. I haven't tightened them down yet, but just to make sure nothing gets in there. That side is completely all set. And then the driver's side here, like I said, all you gotta do is move the windshield washer reservoir and your battery, and you have all the space you need to get to both spark plugs. I've already put them both in there. Now all I have to do is just get the coil packs, put those on, and this side will be good to go as well. A quick tip for putting in that back coil pack, so cylinders four and cylinder one or two, I believe, so to get those out and to put them back in, you're going to want to flip them 180 degrees as you're pulling up. And then same when you're putting it back down, put it down 180 degrees the opposite direction and then flip it back to where it's supposed to be. I realized that's actually kind of hard to explain, so let me just show you. So for this back coil pack, you'll notice when you try to pull it out, you don't really have the... Oh. Alright, never mind. Normally you want to flip it like this, put it in, roll it, and just like that, you'll be in there. But hey, less work for me, that's fine. Now I am just trying to reroute my wiring harness, make it look kind of pretty in here. Also, shout out to Cameron, he brought me over the STI top mount. And we got our nice gritty blow off valve here. They also brought me four coil packs, my oil dipstick, and an extra Xbox controller so we can play video games later. If you guys want to see us shredded on Rocket League and a bunch of other stuff, I stream on Twitch and also have a gaming slash music channel, which I'll leave a link to in the description box down below. I thought I had all of this the right way, and turns out, this sensor right here, which I thought was for the front TGV, is actually for the rear. And now I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to get this back over here. Alright, I think I sort of figured it out. I had the passenger side running around the front and I was able to get everything connected up the proper way. Looks like it's all sitting right, nothing's bulging out like crazy. Okay, this is a couple days later now. Finally got the AOS routed up. I just have to tighten everything down, check a couple hoses, make sure they're not broken. I've also got my fuel system pretty much all done up sort of i think i've only ever done this one other time guys so i apologize if i'm not giving you all the information you need i'm still learning as you guys are learning this entire mess of hoses and wires back here is a lot neater than what it used to look like so i'm very proud of myself i still have to take care of this crank position sensor and also this knock sensor situation back here as soon as i take care of those i can put on the accessories i can put on the top mount make sure everything is bolted down completely and uh hopefully get a first start up there goes one of those lines I need to replace on the AOS. I think that's literally the only one that has to get replaced because it was the only one that broke while I was trying to move everything around. It was actually a hard line that we used from like the OEM setup that just happened to fit perfectly, but it's time for a new hose. Alright, I'm just taking a step back real quick, overlooking everything so I can remember how this all goes because God forbid I have to do all of this again. I want to make sure that I understand what I'm doing better than I did this time. It looks like everything is all tight. Oh, well, let me make sure that I tighten that down before I do anything. I've honestly just been running around in circles a lot trying to make sure that I don't misstep or miss anything because I'm very, very nervous about this first startup. We'll never know if it starts if I don't try to One, start it, right? <laughs> Alright, so again, this is a couple days later. Whoa! What you got there, pal? Do it again! I don't think he's gonna do it again.
it's time for a quick O'Reilly's parts run and also a quick update for you guys. So, AOS is completely routed up. I just had to do a lot of trimming and making stuff look pretty, uh, or as pretty as I, as pretty as I can with all these hoses and everything back here. I still don't know where I'm gonna put this. Honestly, I have no idea where I'm gonna put that. And also, quickly for all of you guys, in case this happens to you, orange wire with the blue strip goes on the left side if you're looking at the connector, and then the other one goes on the right side. All right. I have to grab hose for this expansion tank because I, all of them are gone. I don't know where they went. So we're just gonna replace them all. Also, say hi to Dom. We don't like our seatbelt, so just ignore that. Yeah, ignore the chime, it's fine. He's doing his brake rotors while I'm putting old Sabrina together, so. Sabrina? Yeah, Sabrina's the name of my car. You know is it? No, I yeah. didn't know that. Sabrina the sexy Subaru. Oh, okay. Yeah, bro. Say one more time, what is it? Ruby the Subi. Ruby the Subi. Yeah. I think we should call her Ozzy the Fozzy. Oh, that would have been cool, but nah, it's already been established. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would have been cool, but nah, it's already It's too late now. It's too late. All right, let's show people how to use Subaru Starlink because we work at Subaru. We don't because we don't have an account. I knew that. I was just making sure you knew that. All right, let's look at my Subaru. What do we got here? Oh, nothing because we nothing. need a subscription. Okay, well. Aha. Aha. <laughs> Aha. I thought Hang on, retry. Hold on. Try that again, bro. kind of made it work and is it the right one now it's the right one now now nah, you sure about that it is the right one i checked in the store checked in the store this is the correct bracket that I good need. job I'm fast as fuck, man. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Hoorah! I seem to never learn my lesson. <laughs> I was not even really over tightening, I just wasn't paying attention this time. No big deal, but that has to get drilled out, and then that'll be in there. And I can throw the front together and that should be all good to go. I also have to put together the uh, EGR, but I forgot how to do that, so we'll get back to that later. Only things I have left to do now are just accessories, coolant expansion tank, and still that knock sensor. Fuel's all routed, AOS is all routed, clamped up, everything is all good. Um, it's really just a lot of buttoning up now and it's only taking me so long because I'm just, I want to take my time and not fuck it up. So, uh, I mean, I have the e-brake on. Yeah, that ought to do it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm probably going to end this video here. I'm super tired. I just pushed this like halfway out here by myself. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was very, very scattered, probably super short and I do apologize, but next video, hopefully we should be starting it up. Fingers crossed. I just want my baby back. Oh, that's a good thumbnail. Hold up. Peace out, guys, and I will see you in the next video. You're like at the same. Oh, that was an air. That was oh, shit.